Genesis 3. And the Nahash was more crafty than all the lives of the field which Yahuwah Elohim had made. And he said to the woman, Is it true that Elohim has said, Do not eat of every tree of the garden? And the woman said to the Nahash, We are to eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, Elohim has said, Do not eat of it, nor touch it, lest you die. And the Nahash said to the woman, You shall certainly not die. For Elohim knows that in the day you eat of it, your eyes shall be opened, and you shall be like Elohim, knowing good and evil. And the woman saw that the tree was good for food, that it was pleasant to the eyes, and a tree desirable to make one wise. And she took of its fruit and ate, and she also gave to her husband with her, and he ate. Then the eyes of both of them were opened, and they knew that they were naked, and they sewed fig leaves together and made loin coverings for themselves. And they heard the voice of Yahuwah Elohim walking about in the garden toward the wind of the day. And Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of Yahuwah Elohim among the trees of the garden. And Yahuwah Elohim called unto Adam and said to him, where are you? And he said, I heard your voice in the garden and I was afraid because I was naked, so I hid myself. And he said, Who made you know that you were naked? Have you eaten of the tree of which I commanded you that you should not eat? And the man said, The woman whom you gave to be with me, she gave me of the tree and I ate. And Yahweh Elohim said to the woman, What is this you have done? And the woman said, The Nahash deceived me, and I ate. And Yahweh Elohim said to the Nahash, Because you have done this, you are cursed more than all livestock and more than every beast of the field. On your belly you are to go and eat dust all the days of your life. And I put enmity between you and the woman, and between your seed and her seed. He shall crush your head, and you shall crush his heel. Excuse me. To the woman he said, I greatly increase your sorrow in your conception. Bring forth children in pain and your desires for your husband, and he does rule over you. And to the man he said, Because you have listened to the voice of your wife and have eaten of the tree of which I commanded you, saying, Do not eat of it. Cursed is the ground because of you and toil you are to eat of it all the days of your life. And the ground shall bring forth thorns and thistles for you, and you shall eat the plants of the field. By the sweat of your face you are to eat bread until you return to the ground. For out of it you were taken, for dust you are, and to dust you return. And the man called his wife's name Hawa, because she became the mother of all living. And Yahuwah Elohim made coats of skin for the man and his wife and dressed them. And Yahuwah Elohim said, See, the man has become like one of us, capital us, to know good and evil. And now, lest he put out his hand and take also the tree of life and eat and live forever. So Yahuwah Elohim set him out of the garden of Eden to till the ground from which he was taken. And he drove the man out and he placed 
Kerubim, Kerubim, Kerubim. At the east of the garden of Eden, and a flaming sword which turned every way to guard the way to the tree of life. Sorry for the interruption. Wolf pups. That concludes Genesis 3. My bad. 3. We don't, we don't do that one. We'll do this one. 3. 3. I think.